American whiskey, especially bourbon, has been enjoying a renewed renaissance in the last few years. But have you read some of these reviews? I mean, hints of tobacco and leather mixed with stone fruit? Or a dry finish with chewability to the caramel toffee and oak? Really? Now I'm trying out a lot of these whiskeys, many for the first time, and letting you know what I think of them in plain English. These are whiskey reviews for the rest of us, all from the comfort of my whiskey den. Hey everyone, it's David coming to you from my whiskey den today. Today is the first day of fall, 2021. It's cold, rainy, and miserable outside. So you know, it is the perfect day to drink some bourbon. And today we're going to talk about Bullet Bourbon, Frontier Whiskey. And this was one of my regular go-to whiskeys up until four years ago. I haven't drank any in four years. Well, full disclosure. All right. Yesterday I shot a whole video about Bullet Bourbon, so I had a taste of it. I liked it and watched the Watch the playback of the video. Hated the video. So I'm like, okay, I got I gotta reshoot it. I gotta do something different. <laughs> About ten minutes ago, I shot a whole new video. And I thought it went really good. <laughs> the microphone was off. So hold on here. Microphone's on. <laughs> the, and I'm like, oh my gosh! The whole, I, I was doing like Shatner impressions and everything in the video. I'm like, duh. The, so now I got to reshoot the whole video. So here we go. Let's see how this one goes, all right? Um, so Bullet Bourbon, first off, let me grab my notes. I should, memor I should have memorized all this guy's head so many times. So... <laughs> So, um, according to Tom Bullet, who started the, the modern Bullet Bourbon, um, according to him, the story is, Augustus Bullet was a tavern keeper in Louisville, Kentucky in the 1830s and created the finest bourbon known to man at that point in time. How's that for an old-timey western Louisville, Kentucky name, Augustus? Augustus Bullet, no, Mr. Bullet, if you're listening, no offense. It's you just walked into it, all right. Um, so the original bourbon that Augustus made apparently was from 1830 to 1860. 1987, Thomas E. Bullet Jr. fulfilled a lifelong dream of reviving an old family bourbon recipe. By starting the Bullet Distilling Company, which, fact check, right there, he may have distilled his first batches of Bullet Bourbon, but Seagram's bought out the, the name and the recipe uh, back in the, I think it was 1999, they started it, and they kept the same mash bill of 66% corn, and the, the rest, 33% of rye in the mash. The current recipe, well, the current recipe follows the original mash bill produced by Augustus Bullet. Um, so today it's 68% uh, corn, 28% rye, and 4% malted barley. And it's aged for six years. 90 proof. Up until yesterday, I hadn't had this in four years. Since yesterday, I've tried it like two more times because I've been shooting the videos and again, the microphone wasn't on. Anywho, this stuff is really good. It is just as good, if not better, than I remember it to be. So it's a 90 proof bourbon, like I just said. It's got a nice light to medium brown color. And uh, I can tell you without trying it, but... There we go. And each time I try it, it gets better and better. I don't know why. It's got that nice sweetness. And it's got this nice, um... 
vapor at the start of it, at the end, it has that little bit of a burn on my throat, but then it also has this like black pepper flavor to it. And as I mentioned in my in my videos before, I'm not, and even in the intro to the videos, I'm not into all that like leather taste and all those little notes, but if I can taste it, then it's pretty obvious and evident in the glass and in the pour. So, um, this is a really good bourbon. If you're currently drinking stuff like, um, you know, well, let me look. Benchmark Evan Williams, Early Times, uh, you know, and Jim Beam. If you're drinking any of this stuff, this is a really good bourbon to graduate to. Um, 25 bucks a bottle here in Ohio. I think that's generally the case around the country. I'm not sure. Um, it is a, it is a good bourbon to graduate to. I don't think you would be disappointed in it if you picked up a bottle. Um, and don't be ashamed to serve this to your friends. It's good for mixing, uh, on the rocks, straight up, it's awesome. It does have that spice and flavor to it that uh, you know. I mean, that is, that's the stuff right there. And it's not gonna break the bank. And you won't be ashamed in serving it to your friends. As I mentioned, I did this whole Shatner thing, Captain Kirk thing, so I think I owe it to you right now to do some William Shatner <laughs> if he was to drink some bullet bourbon. It's like, Spock, bullet bourbon is no Saurian brandy. It is the stuff Starfleet captains would drink and serve to the Klingons. Spock, bones. Oh. There you go. I had to do it. I had to do it for you there all right so anyway um that's it for the bullet bourbon it is good stuff i heartily recommend it um and it's affordable it is a good sophisticated bourbon but it also i think lives up to its name as as far as a frontier bourbon which brings me to the point of what exact is this really a frontier bourbon? Um, I'm working on a video. What do they have in the old west? This got me really thinking. That and my wife and I have been watching some John Wayne movies. It got me got me thinking. What exactly did they drink in the old west? So stay tuned. Stay tuned to the channel. Stop. Stay tuned. All right, we'll be putting up a video soon. Um, what they drank in the Old West. Was it stuff like this, bullet bourbon, frontier whiskey, or was it something else? And can we still get that stuff today? Is it bullet bourbon, or is it something else? Logical, Captain. Anyway, until next time, it's David talking to you from my whiskey den. And as always, I hope your next pour is your best pour. So hit the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.